differential equations that we are going to discuss is equations with homogeneous coefficients. But before we, we move forward with solving problems with this type of differential equation, let us first discuss on how are we going to identify this type of differential equation. This type of differential equation can be identified by inspection. Now, uh, equations with homoge homogeneous coefficients refers to the degree of each term in the polynomial. Okay? So I hope that is clear. The degree of each term in the polynomial should be the same. That's why we call it homogeneous. So if we, if we look at this first polynomial, which can be seen at uh, page 26 of our, of our textbook, you have here x squared minus 3xy plus 4y squared. Now, let us go to the degree of each term. Now, x squared, the degree of this is 2 because the, the power of x is 2. Now, 3xy, the degree of this term is also 2 because x is 1 and y is 1. So, all in all, the degree of this term is 2. There is no degree for constants. And then the third term is 4y squared. And the degree of this term is also 2. Again, the constants has no degree. Therefore, this polynomial, x squared minus 3xy plus 4y squared, is homogeneous to the second degree. Okay? I hope that is clear. The second polynomial, obviously, is homogeneous to the third degree because x cubed is third degree, y cubed is third degree. So as a polynomial, as a term, this is homogeneous to the third degree. The third polynomial is homogeneous to the fifth degree because x to the fourth y is fifth degree because x is four, y is one. So all in all, this is fifth degree. And seven y to the fifth is fifth degree because seven has no degree. Therefore, this polynomial is homogeneous to the fifth degree. So I hope we already know how to determine uh, homogeneity of a particular function. Now let's go to, to the exercise in page 27 of our textbook. You are to determine whether or not the function is homogeneous. If it is homogeneous, then you are going to state the degree of the function. Now for number one, you have here 4x squared minus 3xy plus y squared. Therefore, the degree of the polynomial is second degree. All terms are second degree. Therefore, this is homogeneous to the second degree. For number two, the degree of x cubed is 3, xy is 2, y cube is 3. Therefore, they are not homogeneous because not all the terms are of the same degree. x cube and y cube are third degree, but xy is second degree. Therefore, this polynomial function is not homogeneous. Number three, you have 2y plus the square root of quantity x squared plus y squared. Now, the degree of the quantity x squared plus y squared is 2. And if you include the radical sign, then 2 over 2 is 1. 
because the radical sign is one half. So the degree of this term is one and the degree of two y is one. Therefore, this function is homogeneous to the first degree. Okay? Now, if you have here x square root of x minus y, the degree of x and y is 1. And if you, if you include the radical sign, which is 1 half, then this single term, the degree of this single term is 1 half. And if we... If we, if we are going to determine the homogeneity, we have, there, is, there is no other term uh, besides x minus y raised to square root or square root of x minus y. So we will only identify the degree of this term, which is one half. And homogeneity, well, we can say that x and y is homogeneous to the first degree. Okay? Now for uh, our fifth exercise, e to the x, this, this has no degree, okay? Only variables has degree. Tangent of x has no degree, 7 no degree, 8 no degree. And for number 9, x squared plus y squared e to the 2x over y has no degree. This is second degree plus 4xy. This is also second degree. Therefore, as a polynomial term or as a function, this is homogeneous to the second degree. So for the rest of the exercises, you identify by yourself what is the degree of the function and if the function is homogeneous or not okay so for the coming video for the next video we will be solving our first equation with homogeneous coefficient problem okay